Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today, Monday, the 15th of April. Mike Smith in Analytical Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, we finished the week disappointingly uh, with a drop on Friday in the US, continuing inflation concerns and bank earnings really fell short of what was hoped. Earnings, of course, ramp up this week and it'd be interesting to see the impact of the Iranian drone strikes, suggesting Middle East conflict escalation. The response from Israel will be critical in terms of what happens next in that region. The Dow essentially had the worst week of the year so far, but we are seeing US futures mildly higher in early trading today. Despite what's going on, Asian markets are following that week. US lead ASX is trading down around a half cent. And European equity futures are also pointing to a lower open at this stage. US dollar index was a beneficiary of it all on Friday. We saw it edge towards October levels. Very choppy session gold, which saw it shoot up to 3,400 plus change before dropping back to 33.50 again. Copper dropped in late trading to retest the 428 level again after a good start to the day. Gapped up this morning in Asia and then dropped back again to 428 and all edged lower to sit below the resistance as it was for much of last week, particularly the back end. Bitcoin, obviously, with a risk off sentiment, it dropped again. It is around 65,000 support. Be interesting to see if we hold that in Asia today, though. It does look as though there's some buying coming in in early trading. Of course, earnings are in focus this week. Also, of course, on top of that, we've got some important data coming out of the US with retail sales numbers due and some manufacturing data tonight. This afternoon, we've got Eurozone industrial production and Fed speeches may also move markets if they're particularly hawkish, which is likely. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Uh, we're going to start in the ASX and we're looking at Nickel Industries Limited, ticket code NIC. You can see we're retesting this key level at around about 89 with a potential to move higher from here. We're suggesting that possibly in the medium term, this could come up and certainly test a dollar and maybe even towards a dollar 10 later on, should we get some significant buy momentum, which has really been in place for the whole of the year so far in this stock. On the FX front, uh, we're seeing some significant strength in the Aussie dollar versus the yen. Uh, you can see we had that early double bottom confirmed by that second candle of the day. Since then, we've just seen buying coming into this and we look as though we're heading pretty smartly up to around about this 99.83 level, which will be about a 30 pip move from, up from where we are now. There is the potential for us to test 100 again, potentially during the course of the day, particularly if the yen weakness continues that we're seeing across multiple pairs. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.